mermaid in the making. Why am I calling it that? Well, mermaids love to have fun. They play. And you know what? Through that play, they build endurance, they build muscle, and they have fun. Exercise shouldn't be boring. And you know what? Have you ever seen a fat mermaid? I didn't think so. So find some water, let's get in and be mermaids. Welcome back. Today, we're gonna do some more familiar movements like pelvic tilts, squats, lunges, uh, step ups, and maybe a little bit of stretching. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up just like you've probably done 100,000 times in physical therapy. And I'm just gonna have you stand comfortably. Do whatever you like with your hands. I'm just gonna put them here so you can see. And we're just gonna stick our bottom out and tuck it under little pelvic tilts. Let's just get things moving this morning, shall we? Do a number of those, it's up to you. We could try side to side. Maybe you can get your Caribbean music playing in the background, make you feel like you're more on vacation. And then we can use our ladder. I'm gonna come up nice and high and stretch hamstrings. I'm just gonna lean forward till I feel a stretch down the back of my leg. If that's too intense, go ahead and lower your leg to a lower rung. We can also stretch our calves in that runner stretch. And now I'm stretching the back leg. My front knee is bent, my heel is down, and I'm just stretching that back leg. Some people need to bend the knee to get a better stretch back there. We have two muscles, and so by bending the knee, we can isolate the other one. And again, we're gonna hold 30 to 60 seconds, just so that it feels good. warm up some with some squats. You can feel free to hold pool noodles or milk jugs to help you float. You can also take a hold of a ladder from the side of the pool. Again, so you can see me, I'm going to stay out here hanging onto the ladder. But you can go ahead and just squat down into the water. Watch out for your chlorine floater. If that's causing a little bit of anxiety or you're feeling like that's just too much for you, you can always squat to the steps. And then you can try to take it lower. And you just want your bottom to hit the step. We can also do lunges in the water. Again, hanging on for support. Put your feet together, step forward, and bend. You can do it without hanging on. You're gonna step forward and bend both knees. Squats can be done stepping backwards. Or they can be done moving. put your hands will help determine your stability, but it will also give you more resistance. We can also do step ups here in the water. You've got your ladder, you've got to climb out. So you're going to put one foot on the lowest rung and I want you to use the leg on the step to push up. Don't use that back leg, let's use the one in the front. We can also do that to the side. And to finish up, we'll just do some heel raises. Just popping out of the water, up onto your toes. Hands up. For 
some, you might find yourself more comfortable with your familiar physical therapy exercises. So start out by hanging onto the ladder or the wall. I'm gonna hang onto the ladder so that you can see what my legs are doing. And we can start with some of those simple PT exercises like marching in place, kicking your leg out to the side, Make sure your movement's coming from your hip. Now remember, mermaids don't like to count. So do them until you feel tired or your pain starts to increase. We want your movement to be enjoyable. You can also kick out to the back. Think about squeezing your bottom. Give the other side a try. And if it's too easy while you're holding on to something, move out into the open water and you can try this way. It takes more balance to be able to hold yourself upright in the water while you're moving things. Maybe you took a dance as a kid and you want to go all the way around. Road de jambes, I think you were called. And that standing leg is gonna to have to work also to keep you upright as you're playing with your legs. Like I said, exercise shouldn't be boring. Another way to challenge yourself is to go ahead and take a hand. I just want you to touch your knee. You can make that a little bit harder by crossing the center of your body and reaching for the other leg. If you feel like that's too easy and you need more of a challenge, the next thing you can do is go ahead and reach for that foot. And same thing applies if that's too easy. Go ahead and reach for the other side. I'm trying not to stick my face in the water so that you can still hear me. But you know what this would be great? This would be a great lead-in to a game like Simon Says with your kids. I hope you've found some of these movements helpful and that you've been able to enjoy yourself today in the pool. I'll be back next week with more tips and tricks on how to become more like a mermaid.